In this video, we're going to have a look at something called the general form. So when we're working with linear relationships, in the past, the way in which we've graphed these is we've used the slope-intercept form. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily graph linear relationships when they're arranged in something called the general form. So the general form itself is a way in which we can arrange a linear relationship. And as you can see where the cursor is here, it's typically in the form of AX plus BY equals C, where A and B are coefficients in front of the X and the Y, and the C is simply a constant. We always have the A and the y, or the X and the Y on the left-hand side of the equation, where A is always the first term. Similarly, the C is always on the right-hand side. Now, the power of this form is such that it allows us to graph linear relationships by easily deducing the intercepts, so the x and the y intercepts. Uh, another really great thing about this form is it allows us to express linear relationships without the need to use them um, or to use fractions, so everything can be expressed as a whole number. Now if we go down to an example, a relationship is described by the following equation, 4x minus 3y equals 12. And what we're being asked to do is graph the above or the above relationship. So the way in which um, this is really powerful is, well, I can start off and go 4x minus 3y equals 12. And then I'm going to say when, when x is equal to zero, what we find is that all of this term here gets nullified. So we're left with minus 3y equals 12, and therefore y is equal to minus 12 on 3, which is the same as writing minus 4. So the point we find is that the y-intercept is at 0, negative 4. So notice how simple it is to get this y-intercept from the general form. Now, Let's do the same and we'll calculate the x-intercept. Rather than saying when x equals 0, what we're going to say is when y equals 0. Now, because of that, this term here becomes nullified because anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So all we're left with is 4x equals 12. Rearranging, dividing both sides by 4, we get 12 over 4. And therefore, we find that x is equal to 3 when y is equal to 0. So therefore, we find that our x-intercept is at 3, 0. Now that we have two points, all we need to do is graph on our Cartesian plane on the left here. So I'm just going to add my y plus x plus, so we know the positive directions of x and y. Then I'm going to mark the points on the axis. So the y-intercept is at 0, negative 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, down here, 0, minus 4, and then 3 and 0, that's our x-intercept, so cross 3. Now because this says graph, what that means is I have to use a ruler, so I've got to insert, uh, I get a nice shape. So uh, it doesn't stop at the point, but rather it goes through both of them. To accentuate, I'll just do that. And let's, uh, let's make it a nice go. That looks beautiful. All right, now to finish off, we're going to write 4x, tell this to go away, 4x minus 3y equals 12. And we're done. So that's been the first example of how we can graph a linear relationship that is described in the general form. Now let's do another example. Nothing special about the other one, but it's always good to get a little bit of repetition to build those, build the fluency. So we're going to go 3x plus 5y equals 15. So this is our relationship here. So 3x plus 5y equals 15. Then we're going to say when, when y equals 0, we're going to get this guy nullified. 
So we're left with 3x equals 15, and then therefore x dividing both sides by 3, x is equal to 5, and therefore our, our, our x-intercept in this case is going to be at 5, 0. So I did a little bit backwards compared to last time, but no problem. Same result. Then we'll repeat the other, or the, the similar for the y-axis or the y-intercept. So we find that x-intercept is at 5, 0, and our y-intercept is at 0, 3. Marking these on our Cartesian plane, we'll run into a little bit of a problem in that it doesn't quite fit, but 5, 0 is going to be somewhere out here, so we'll just have to make do. Ideally, you want to have a bigger Cartesian plane. And then the y-intercept is at 0, 3, so roughly there. And then finishing it off by writing the relationship on the actual line. So we want to label it. Bingo. We are done. So this has been a video on how we can, well, firstly, what the general form is, and then how we can use general form to easily graph linear relationships simply by deducing the x and the y intercepts.